solving equations. This video we're going to be solving equations that have a coefficient or a number in front of the variable and a negative constant. We solve for x and the way we solve for x is we get the variable or x by itself onto one side of the equation. Now to begin we're going to need to use two inverse operations to solve this equation. The first one is the identity in inverse and then the multiplicative inverse. Are they reciprocal? Now let's get started. We have the additive inverse. The additive inverse of negative 10 is positive 10. We're going to add positive 10 to both sides of the equation. And if you remember, the equation must stay balanced. So we have to add positive 10 to both sides of the equation. Here we go. We add the, the uh, positive 10 up under the negative 10 and the positive 10 up under the 26. One side cancels out. The other side gives us 36. Before we move on, we're going to clean up our work. So now we have 3x equals 36. Now moving on, we go to the multiplicative inverse. Pretty much <clears throat> that means the opposite of multiplying is dividing. Since the 3x is multiplying, we're going to divide to get the 3 away from the x. And we divide from the other side because the equation must be balanced. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. Now we're going to clean up our work before we move on. We have 1x equals 12. We could just remove the 1 because 1 times anything is that number. So our solution is x equals 12. Now we check our answer. We check our answer by taking our solution and putting it back into the original equation. We're going to plug 12 in for x. So 3 times 12, that gives us 36. Minus 10 equals 26. That's a true statement. So that means the answer must be correct because our equation is still balanced. One last time, we have our original problem. We understand that the solution x equals 12. We plug 12 back into the original solution. We get 36 minus 10, which equals 26. So 26 equals 26. That is a balanced equation. That means our solution is correct, and that's the end of the video. Thanks.